Get ready, because today we're gonna learn how to change scenes. Being able to change scenes is really useful if you're making a movie or if you're making a game that has multiple levels. So in this project, we're going to learn how to get Chawana to move through her room, get to a door, be outside, and then move to a bus. And from there, you can take it even further. So let's do it. So first, let's pick your hero. I'm going to pick Chawana, but you can of course pick whoever you want. So drag them out, put them around here. So let's teach her to walk. So you can teach your character to move in a lot of different cool ways, like using a joystick, or controls, or even with tilting, which you can learn about in the other videos. But just to keep this short, I'm going to make her move forward when you tap the iPad. So let's make a rule. So add a new rule. For the whens, pick when the iPad is tapped. And then when we tap the iPad, I want her to move 100 pixels forward. So go to Movement, which is the red tab. Drag out a Move Forward block. Pick 100, press check, then press play, and let's see if it works. Anytime I tap, she moves 100. Great. All right, let's go back to edit. Next, let's make her room. So let's exit out of this rule by tapping outside of it. And let's add a new object. So go to your objects menu, which is this gray plus button, and drag out a text object, and let's call it background drawer. So this object appropriately draws backgrounds. So let's add a new rule. So in the beginning of the project, your character will be in their room. So the first thing we want to do is draw a room. So pick when the play button is tapped for your when, and then let's add a new ability, which you can do by tapping on this gray plus button next to my abilities. And let's call it draw room. Press create. And let's drag this out. And as you can see, there's nothing in here. But we're going to add the blocks to this ability. All right, so first pick what color you want your wall to be. And then when you have that in mind, go to Drawing, drag out a Leave a Trail, and put it inside Draw a Room. And I'm going to have my wall be this sort of greenish blue color. And then for your Width bubble, tap on that bubble and pick 3000, which is bigger than the width of the screen. Then go to Move Forward within the Leave a Trail and pick 1. And then press Check. And let's see what that does. OK, so that's good. Keep going. So then we want to set that background object to right over here, close to the bottom on the left, so that it can draw a floor along the bottom half of the screen. So go to Movement, go to More, until you find Set Position. And drag out Set Position under this Leave a Trail block, but within the Draw Room ability. And we're going to set it to over here. So that's x equals 0 and y equals 200. So x equals 0, y is already 200. Press check. Then we want to draw the floor. So drag out another leave a trail and put it under this block, but within the draw room ability. And pick your color for your floor. I'm going to pick uh, this color. And then for the width, make it 400. And so what that'll do is that a line that is about this thick is going to be drawn all the way across here so that this whole rectangle will be the color of your floor. But to draw all the way over here, we need to move forward the length of the screen, which is about 1024. So in the move forward block, type 1024. So let's see what it looks like. Cool, but I don't want to see the word background drawer, and I don't want this to happen so slowly, I want it to happen really quickly, so let's make those fixes. And drag out a set speed above all of this, but within the draw room. Set the speed to something really fast, like 99999. Nine, 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 nine. Press check. And then lastly, we don't want to see the word background drawer, so we are going to make that invisible. So go to looks and sounds, which is the green tab, and then go to more here, and pull out a set invisibility and set that above the ability because we want this to happen immediately and set it to 100 which means fully invisible press check and let's see if it worked boom and now we have a room awesome okay so now we want to set a door right here so let's do that so go back to edit and let's go to the objects button which is right here and drag out an object and put it right around here where you want your door to be 
and then go to emoji, which is to the left of your spacebar. If you don't have emoji, you have to enable that keyboard in your iPad settings. So once you're in emoji, look for the door, which is right here. Pause if you need a minute to find it. Then press done. And now it's pretty small, so let's make it bigger. So add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, go to looks and sounds and find set size and drag that out. And let's set the size of this door to 450%, so a little more than four times as big as normal. And then let's drag out a send to back block, which means that this door will be behind the other objects. So when Chalana bumps into it, she's in front of it. And let's see how it looks. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's a little high, so make sure to adjust the position of your door. So let's go back to edit and exit out of this rule and just drag this down a little bit. Cool, works for me. Okay, so if I tap and I get Chalana to move forward, when she gets to the door, I want the scene to change. And this is the magic part. So first what we want to happen is that we want the background to suddenly be outside. So we're gonna make the background drawer leave a bunch of trails to look like it's outdoors. So then we want the door to disappear, a house to appear on the left, and a bus to appear on the right, and then most importantly we want Chalana to suddenly be on the left side of the screen. So let's do each of those. So first the background. So go to your background drawer and add a new rule. Then go to more and go to bumps in your WENS. So here it's when Chalana bumps the door. So tap on the first bubble, pick Chalana. Tap on the second bubble and then pick door. Press check. So when Chalana bumps the door, we want to draw the outdoors. We want to draw outside. So add a new ability. Tap on that gray plus button and let's name it draw outside and then create and drag that out and let's put our blocks in here so go to movement and drag in a set position block so if your object is on the very edge of the screen and you try to leave a trail it might not see it if it's all the way at x equals 1024 so what we're first doing is setting the position back to somewhere on the screen so let's set it to x is 0 and then y is 200 and then let's leave a giant trail to make the blue sky so go to drawing and drag out a leave a trail and put it under the set position but inside draw outside and then make the color of your sky I'm gonna pick a bright blue day and then for the width pick that bubble and I'm gonna make it 3000 so the whole screen is light blue and then I only have to move forward one so go to the move forward block and pick one so that actually makes this object move from here to here. So then we want to leave a second trail. So drag in another leave a trail, put it under the, sec under the first one, and let's draw the ground. So I want my ground to be green, so I'm going to pick green for the color. For the width, I want to pick 400 again. And then here for move forward, I'm going to move forward the length of the screen. So we're drawing a green grass all the way across. So I'm going to pick 10, 24 again. And then we want to make the sun. So let's set this object to somewhere around here and draw a yellow dot. So go to movement, drag out a set position, and let's pick um, like 600 by 600. That's 600 to the right, 600 up. Press check. And then let's leave one final trail under this. And let's make the color the color of the sun. Let's make the width. 200 and then let's move forward just one so that we're making a big yellow dot and let's see what that looks like so if you move Chalana to the door when she gets to the door we're outside but this isn't finished right because for one thing the door is still here for another Chalana is still on the right and we don't have the house or bus so let's make all those fixes so go back to edit and exit out of this rule and let's add the house. So go to the objects menu and drag out a text object and put it right over on the left side and then let's go to emoji and let's find the house. Or, by the way, you can put whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna look for the house and I'm gonna find it right here. Okay, press done. So the first thing I know is that when the project starts, I don't wanna see this house, right? Because right now, if we press play, that house is hanging out over there, so that's not good. So let's add a new rule. 
that when the play button is tapped, which means when the project starts, let's set the house to be invisible. So go to looks and sounds and drag out set invisibility and make it 100. Cool. So when the project starts, you don't see the house. Let's go back to edit. And then let's add a new rule. When Cholana bumps the door, so pick bumps for your when, pick Cholana for the first bubble, pick the second bubble, and pick a door for the second bubble. Press check. And we want the house to appear, and we want it to be big, and we want it to be behind Cholana. So first, let's go to looks and sounds, and let's set size. And let's set it to 800, because this is a big house. And then let's send to back, because it's behind Cholana in this project. And finally, let's see the house. So drag out set invisibility and set it to zero. And let's see what happens. Press play. Move Cholana to the door. Cool. Okay, so let's move the house up a bit. We can even make it bigger, actually. And let's get rid of that door. So let's go to edit. Move the house up a bit. And then go to this rule where Cholana bumps the door. And let's set the size to even more, like one thousand okay see what that looks like move Toronto to the door cool okay now let's get rid of that door and put a bus there so go to edit exit out of here add a new object so go to the object button and drag out a text object let's put it right I don't know here and then go to emoji and find the school bus I'm not sure if that's what this is but all right then press done now, like the house, we want it to be invisible at first, right? So add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, go to looks and sounds and find set invisibility, drag it out, pick 100. Okay, so we don't see it at first. Let's exit out of this. Let's add a new rule um, when Cholana bumps the door, right? So go to bumps and pick Cholana and then bumps the door, press check. And same thing as the house. So go to looks and sounds. First, let's make it big. Let's make it like 800. Press check. Let's send it to back so it's behind Shalana. And then let's, let's see it. So set invisibility to zero. And then before we play it, let's also get rid of that door. So go to the door, add a new rule. Go to bumps and pick when Shalana bumps the door. Press check. Go to looks and sounds. Drag out in set invisibility and set it to 100, so invisible. Press check and let's see what happens. Okay, Cholana gets to the door. All right, so we're so close. All we gotta do now is set Cholana back to here when this scene starts. So go back to edit, exit out of here, go to Cholana and add a new rule. Pick bumps. So when Cholana bumps the door, press check. Let's go to movement and drag out a set position. So let's set her position to x equals 50, so a little bit to the right of the left edge of the screen. And then y could be like 350 or 300. And let's see if it works. OK, Cholana's in her room. She goes to the door. Whoa, and now she's outside. And so now you can keep going. And if you want to move Cholana to the bus, once she hits the bus, you can create a new scene, paint a new background, get rid of everything here you don't want to keep. And now you know the basics for changing scenes. So now you can make a video game with multiple levels or a movie where someone goes underwater or goes to school or goes to outer space. There's really no limit now because you can go anywhere with this. So I'm so excited to see the movies and games and projects you all make. And I'll see you next time. Bye.